A discrete time Fourier transform of Xn signal is defined in this equation. X exponent j omega equal to the summation from n equal to 0 until infinity. Signal Xn multiply with exponent negative j omega n. Since omega n is a continuous variable, there are an infinite number of possible, possible values of omega between 0 to 2 pi or from negative pi to pi. In this example, we need to determine the DTFT of, of a finite sequence xn, 3, 2, 4, the bold and underline is for n equal to 0, this is for n equal to 1 and n equal to 2. Then sketch the DTFT continuous magnitude. This is the label for magnitude and phase spectrums. This is the label for phase from 0 to 2 pi. This is the range for omega. So based on this equation, we need to determine uh, based on the given signal xn. So first, we need to convert this function of exponent negative j omega into this one based on the Euler's formula. If we have exponent positive j omega n, it is equal to cos omega n plus j sine omega n. In this case, we have exponent negative j omega n, therefore we have cos omega n minus j sine omega n as written here. Next, we need to calculate uh, for omega as given in the question from 0 to 2 2 pi okay this is stated in the question otherwise you can calculate for omega from negative pi to pi since stated in the question so we need to use the range of omega from 0 to 2 pi next it is this one is based on x and value given in the question for 3 2 4 this is for n equal to 0 and equal to 1 and n equal to 2 so the next one we set the omega value from 0 okay and we increase by pi over 6 until we calculate for omega equal to 2 pi so from this equation xn multiply with this function cos omega n minus j sine omega n first one is for omega equal to zero here okay we convert in this format and then for this one we calculate for n equal to zero this is the signal of xn n equal to zero three so multiply with this one so n equal to zero plus we calculate for n equal to 1, this is 2. For xn, multiply with this function, this is for n equal to 1. Plus, this is for n equal to 2. For multiply with this function, this is for n equal to 2. The next one, we use the value of omega equal to 0. So this one, omega is equal to 0 for this part. Okay, this one for n equal to 1, so we apply omega equal to 0 for n equal to 1. And then for this part, n equal to 2, we apply omega equal to 0 for n equal to 2. So the red one is the value for n, 0, 1, and 2. The blue one is the value for omega 0, 0 for omega, the blue one. So this one we calculate for n equal to 0, this part we calculate for n equal to 1, and this is for n equal to 2. So we uh, calculated the value in complex numbers, then we need to convert to polar form. Next, we increase omega by pi over 6, so we have uh, omega pi over 6, so this is for n equal to 0. This part is for n equal to 1 and this is for n equal to 2. 
So the final answer for each omega we convert from complex values to polar form. Therefore, we have magnitude here and this is for phase in degree. So we increase the omega value by pi over 6. The previous one we have 0 and pi over 6. So we increase another uh, omega by pi over 6. So we have 2 pi over 6 which is equal to pi over 3. Next we have 3 pi over 6 which is equal to pi over 2. The next one we have 4 pi over 6 which is equal to 2 pi over 3 and followed by 5 pi over 6. Next, we calculate for each omega and we have the value in magnitude and phase for each omega values.